Well, howdy. Welcome to Adventure in Art. My name is Ben Staley, your resident talking head. Hey, I'm going to show you some stills and video from my recent trip to South Africa. Uh, I was in the kind of southern, southeastern, lower right-hand corner of South Africa, not far from the Mozambique border, maybe 100 miles, I think. Um, kind of adjacent to Kruger National Park, if you know where that is. Did visit the park. Have some stills and video here that I'm going to show you. Have some stills and video from other areas around there where I was operating. If you follow the channel and you've been following my journey this year, I... Uh, <laughs> Got rid of all my digital cameras a few months ago. And uh, and then this job came up. Hey, Ben, do you want to go to South Africa for nine weeks? Why, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I think I was thinking, shoot, I'd really like to photograph some stuff in South Africa. I'll take my film cameras. I'll take my M6, 35 millimeter rangefinder. I'll take my Nikon F4, uh, SLR. I went down to the camera shop, bought this guy, 200 millimeter uh, F4. Got this for like 120 bucks. Old film lens is awesome. I'd never used one of these before. Never, never had a 200 millimeter, 35 millimeter lens. So uh, I was like, I'm, I'm good to go. I got a bag full of film. Who needs digital? Oh, by the way, the next video after this one, is gonna be all my film photos. Cause yes, I did take a lot of film photos in South Africa, but at the very last minute, my friends over at Lumix, we were talking and they were like, hey, do you want to take a, a GH6? This guy. And I'm like, yeah, sure. I would love to. I had a GH2 back in the day. I had a GH3, a GH4. I love these little GH cameras and I hadn't used one in a number of years. They've changed quite a bit. They've gotten way more advanced than when I was using them. So I'm like, yeah, why not? They sent over a GH six actually sent a five one of the fives a five mark two or a 5s it was one of the fives i don't have that anymore and they sent a bunch of lenses um for me to try out a 100 to 300 which is what i used mostly sometimes i used this lens that's on here now which is the 42.5 leica lens equivalent to an 85 we all know that i love my 85s so I had that, I had some wider lenses, but I pretty much stuck on the long end, which is what you're gonna see here in this video. I've already talked too much. Let's get into this. Let's go back to Africa. I was living in a remote camp way out in the bush for nine weeks. In fact, I had an outside shower. I showered outside for two and a half months. I didn't mind that at all. But every day we're driving around and seeing all kinds of animals and I'm photographing them and I'm filming them to and from work, at work, whatever. I would try and go out of my days off. I had to be careful, always had to have an escort with me because there were lions about, there were elephants about, and there were a lot of other critters, leopards, and things that would happily <laughs> have you for dinner. But let's start off with the most dangerous animal in Africa. The animal that is responsible for killing more people than any other animal in Africa, that's the hippopotamus. Saw a lot of hippos at the back half of the trip, saw hippos almost every day. Hippos are cool. We also saw giraffes all the time driving around. Giraffes are really cool. They're so alien and weird looking.
This is a leopard tortoise. Uh, one of the rangers found this cross on the road and I just had to get some shots. It's a, just a beautiful little tortoise. I think you know what these guys are. Amazing to behold in the wild. Some trivia for you folks, the Nile crocodile has not evolved in something like over 8 million years. It's so perfectly adapted to its environment. It's such a perfect killing machine. It hasn't needed to change or evolve at all in millions of years. I've seen these before. I've seen bigger ones actually in Mozambique. These ones were kind of medium sized, but definitely big enough to jack you up and you do, you do not want to tangle with one of these things. They are scary, they're cold and calculated, and they will hunt you. When they're in the water, you have to stay far back away from the water's edge if it's deep at all or if you can't see below the surface because they can be lurking there and they can just jump up and pull you down and you're not coming back. They're so cool to just observe and watch though. I could photograph or film crocodiles all day, every day. It is so fun.
and ladies and gentlemen, the king of the jungle, the lion. You see these critters up close and it is terrifying <laughs> and amazing. So that's it folks, just a little video of uh, some of my work from South Africa recently. I'll be back very shortly with another African video, this time with analog photos, 35 millimeter black and white film shot in South Africa, coming in in about a week. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you all. Take it easy.